Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more. I am Setsuna. Um, I leveled everyone ridiculously high because I was getting used to the battle system and momentums and fluxes with Spirit Knight. So I'm crazy strong. I have a lot of Spirit Knight that I gave to my characters. So like, if you look at the text, he knows Wall and Aura. She knows Lightning and Insight. She knows Protect and Slow. And yeah, now I'm gonna talk to everyone now. My old man wants me to be a farmer like him. That's not the life for me, though. Right now, I'm honing my skills in the resistance, but one day my name will ring out across the land. No one's a match for the cap. I'm the second strongest around here, though. Are you really? So you met Nieder? He might not seem it, but everyone says he used to be pretty strong. It's a little hard to believe when you look at him now, though. Yeah, he looks like a scrub. Oh yeah, another reason why I leveled up so high is because um, there are these penguin monsters in the rundown village that I was in. I want, not penguin, seal monsters. I wanted to be able to kill them in one hit, but they never just die. They always self-destruct and that made me mad. My son's in the resistance, you know? Says he doesn't want to be a farmer like his old man. He's doing it to protect the village. I know that. I just always thought he'd follow my footsteps. He wants to do something better. So yeah, I'm stocked up on items. Um... Got a lot of money, just need some recipes for food. Ugh, I can't take it anymore. Hey, you there. A hail bean, a January cabbage, a snow crown turnip, and some avalanche kelp. You haven't got those ingredients, have you? Could you give them to me? I think I have them all. I'm not sure about avalanche kelp though. Really? Phew, I'm so grateful. I'm starving, but I didn't have any ingredients. Now I can finally make that dish. Pray, what is that dish? Ah, that sure hit the spot. There's nothing like a hail bean stew, after all. Here, you try some too. I'll give you the recipe as well. Just give it to a chef in any town. Satisfying stew recipe. Hooray! The fact that no monsters have attacked the village proves that the sacrifice's protection is working. I shouldn't think we'll be needing the resistance anytime soon. That's what you think. For some reason, I think I'm gonna break the cycle of sacrifice, but hey, who knows? Let's talk to more peoples. Ooh, who are you? Um... Yes, what is it? Oh, it's a girl. Are you the captain? Yes, I'm Freya. Freya! I love that name. Something you find odd about my face, is there? Oh wait, she's an older lady. I should give her an older voice. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I just never imagined that the captain would be a woman. Travelers, are you? We want to get to Flonea. Flonea Citadel? You certainly don't look like any merchants I've ever seen. I can't just let a group of unidentified people through. If you want to get to Flonea, you'll need to explain yourselves. Uh, where the sacrifices guard? Let's speak peacefully. Is that the best you could come up with? It hasn't even been ten years since the last sacrifice. We are not lying. Have you not noticed? The monsters are more ferocious of late and their numbers are increasing rapidly. If something isn't done soon, there will be dire consequences. That's why it was decided to send another sacrifice sooner than usual. Hmm, I see. And that sacrifice is you, is it? I too have sensed the monsters growing more ferocious. It is becoming harder and harder to deal with the ones near the town. Are the sacrificial rites losing their power? Or is something else awry? I have indeed been feeling a strange sense of uneasiness lately. That's only all the more reason for me not to let you through the frost caves. But why? The monsters in the frost caves are even more dangerous than those above ground. I'm responsible for guarding this village, and I cannot send a sacrifice and a guard of just two to their deaths. So what should we do? First of all, I'm gonna get that treasure chest. I've been trading up the youngsters around here as a resistance force. I want you to at least choose one of them to take with you. Um, I think we need more help. So I'll just say nice. The monsters aren't going to wait around until things are convenient for us. We need to be ready to fight back at any time. We met a man in the abandoned village near here. Is he part of the resistance too? Oh, so you met Nadir. Technically, he's a little different. He did once serve as part of a sacrifice's guard, but... Really? He accompanied a sacrifice? 
Oh, he didn't tell you? It was almost 20 years ago now. He didn't seem like the type. Having someone experience the one would be a great help. Do you think he'd join us? I very much doubt it. He's not the man he once was. Oh, I see. I don't know what to do with him, to be honest. He hasn't been back to his hometown once since the pilgrimage. He's ended up staying here the whole time. Why is that? Well, maybe you should try asking him. Anyway, let me introduce you to my men. They should be out in the village square, training as we speak. Come with me. Priorities first! Five ethers, nice. I don't know why I got a treasure chest, but awesome. This is it. This is all I have to choose from. This is lame. None of them are gonna survive. They can all hold their own. Want to test their metal? Um... This is kind of pathetic, but let's be nice. <laughs> What do you mean? I hate to do it, but it looks like we've got no choice. Let's see what you've got. Huh? What for? If you really are strong, we'll have you join us as part of the Sacrifice's Guard. What? Right now? Is that really true, though? They'll have us join the Sacrifice's Guard? The three of you can come at us at once. We'll start when you're ready. Are we really going to fight these guys? They look pretty tough. I really don't like the looks of that guy in the mask, either. No, I want to grow stronger. I'll show them what I've got, and I'll join the Sacrifice Guard. Nidir's never been the same since coming back from the pilgrimage, though. Even if we do get a hero's welcome when we come back, if we end up like him, then... What are you, stupid? Just because Nidir ran himself down, it doesn't mean we will. I want to be a hero. I want to be spoken of in the legend of myth. Anyway, this might be the only chance we ever get to join the Sacrifice Pilgrimage. What are you blabbering about? Hurry up and get yourselves ready! I'll do it. Alright, I'm with you. It'll be fine. He's just wearing that mask to look tough. Come on, let's get him. I am going to one-hit KO you. Looks like they're ready. Yeah. Um, I could probably just kill them without using momentum. But I think there's a combo. I'm not a combo. Uh, a trophy for using momentum. Oh, they're pretty tough! I thought they'd go down in one hit. Okay, they did. Oh, she didn't have SP. Gosh darn it. 94. It's no good. We don't stand a chance. I never imagined a sacrifice is gonna be this strong. Yeah, on second thought. How pathetic. They really were no match for you, eh? Regrettably, they do indeed have little real combat experience. Can we go now then? It's obvious no one here is going to be up to the scratch. No, there is one person. Really? Where are they? Standing right in front of you. You mean, you'll come with us? But she doesn't even have a character portrait. She's not gonna live. Well, what choice do I have? If no one else is up to scratch, then I'll have to go myself. Um... Then who's gonna take care of the resistance? I'm pretty sure she's strong enough, but I wouldn't. I'm not so long in the tooth that I need a whippersnapper like you worrying about me. I can still handle a sword just fine, thank you very much. I'll be able to hold my own, don't you worry. Thank you. It'll be a great relief to know that you're with us. Now that's settled, I need to get ready. Come on, what are you doing? Taking a nap? All of you, patrol duty now! What? Now? My legs. They won't let me. We need the rest of the day off. Pull yourself together! Wimps. You're going to be defending this place by yourselves for a while. Sorry, but can you wait here? It won't take long. I need to do a final patrol while I kick some life back into my men. I need to go to the chef to get a recipe. Please rest the shells at my place until I get back. I'll do more than that. I'll explore the last house and I'll get a recipe! Ah, I see you've got a recipe. If you give it to me, I can add it to our menu. 
You only have one thing on the menu now. Let me see. What have we got here then? I see. Right. Yep, I can make this no problem. I've added it to our menu, so feel free to order it at any time. Now, back to work. You haven't been working at all! It boosts the amount of experience earned, number of drops, and physical attack power. Uh, sure, I'll buy... Three. Because I think menus only last for, uh, one battle, if I remember correctly. But let's check out. This is not the house, this is the way to the... Oh, there's a thing! Water broccoli. That was amazing! I saw the whole thing. You guys are real damn strong. We need people like you in the resistance, so how about it? No? No. We're busy. We're the sacrifice's guard. We gotta get going. Guess there's nothing else to do, so uh, we'll wait in her house. Let's take the captain up on her offer until she gets back. Not that we really have time to be sitting around. We still got a long way to go. We need to take every opportunity we can to rest. Oh well, looks like we've got no choice. Sleeping. Free health. I wonder why he's never been back home. Not even once. Maybe something happened on the pilgrimage. You mean Nidor? Yes. Say, how about we try asking Nidor to join us too? Why are you so interested in him? Because he has experience as part of a sacrifice's guard? Well, there is that, of course. I don't know. There's just something about him. Like he needs our help, almost. Alright, let's think about it when the captain gets back. Alright. But a bit But she's not coming back. Where is she? I knew it. She didn't have a character portrait. Don't you think she's taking a little long? Yes, you're right. She said she was just going to go on a final patrol. Help! Someone, please! Has something happened? Apparently so. That voice sounded like it was coming from the entrance to the village. Well, then offwards we go. Should I eat the food in case a battle comes up? I will do that. Um, inventory. Kale bean stew. There we go. Next battle. Yeah, it's only for one battle. Hopefully this battle is important. <gasps> it's Freya! Captain! She'll live, but her wounds are pretty bad. Be careful carrying her. And don't you worry about them. They're just shook up. I can't do a deep man voice. I can't do men's voices. Ugh, oh, sadness. What on earth happened? A man carrying a huge scythe suddenly attacked us. The captain protected us. And now... I was just passing by, and I found the captain all beat up. So I carried her on my back, and dragged these three back here as fast as I could. Damn it, why did you run away? You should have fought him. You're supposed to be a hero, aren't you? I barely managed to run. There's no way I would have stand a chance against a freak like that. Forget it. It's me who's the fool for thinking that you'd help. The man might still be in Serendale. I'll avenge the captain. I swear it on the name of the Resistance. Hey, come on, wait! Damn it. You two treat the captain's wounds. You can manage that much, can't ya? Now, I'm telling you this for your own good. You should all get out of here. It seems that freak was after the sacrifice. And that's you, ain't it, miss? So you mean, because of me, the captain? Don't let it get to you. That's just the way the sacrifice's journey is. So someone's trying to get in the way of the pilgrimage, eh? Sounds a little like someone else I know. <laughs> Play dumb. What are you talking about? <laughs> Even if we wanted to leave, before we can go anywhere, we need the entrance to the caves unlocked. And also, the captain said she was coming with us because our guard was too small. No chance, she's gonna need complete bed rest. So what are we supposed to do? She said she wouldn't let us through unless we upped our numbers. Neither, I heard that- I hear that you once successfully accompanied a sacrifice on her pilgrimage. Can't you help us too? Sorry. 
but my journey ended a long time ago. Once the captain wakes up, you get her to unlock the entrance to the caves, and then be on your way. Now, I have some business to attend to in Serendale, so excuse me. If Nidor ever joins my party, I'm not using him, because he's a wimp. So, what should we do? Um, I'm not following after him, I'm gonna wait for the captain to wake up. So you mean we should try and convince the captain to just give us the key? With our number still the same... Oh well, looks like we've got no choice. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Jelly, Eterna, I know you are both strong, but you're also very dear to me. You're my companions. I want you to finish this journey safely. In order for that to happen, we need all the help we can get. And by help, you mean me, dear. Well, maybe you're right. I wasn't too sure about him when we first met him. But the way he brought the captain and the others back like that... He's strong, and he can obviously keep his head in an emergency. But even if we do go after him, you think he'll agree to join us? I want to talk to him more. It's like he's carrying some sort of burden. That's the feeling I get. And I think that might have something to do with why he won't join us. Anyway, if we don't do something, that man who attacked the captain will hurt more people. I know Nidor said what he did. But I don't want people to suffer because of me. Sorry for being so stubborn. Well, alright. If that's what you want. How like you, Satsuna. Alright, let's follow after Nidor. I don't want to! He seems unreliable. Where the hell was Sarendale? <laughs> There's a shiny on the map, which means... More ingredients! I'm stocking up on everything. So I'll be prepared for the next recipe. Another sparklies right here. Was this Sarendale? It is! Hopefully it's a boss monster. No, it's more of the stupid sails! Whoa, he could get rid of them in one hit. I can't even do that! Wow! You don't think the fact there aren't many monsters around here could be... Thanks to you? No, maybe it's thanks to him. Yes, I think so too. So that's why he was so tired the first time we met him. Is this what he's been doing ever since he came back from the pilgrimage? But why would he do that? To hide something, I think. The people of the village think that their peaceful lives are thanks to the sacrifice. Nidor never went back home and stayed here fighting off the monsters. Could that be because he didn't want anyone to doubt that the sacrifice was protecting them? If so, that might just mean... That your sacrifice will be in vain. We'll need to check that last part with the man himself. Yes, right. Let's go, Jelly. Now it's bothering me that there's a space after my name. I didn't realize it when I first input my name. Oh gosh darn it, I wasted a cobbler. Focus! You know what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna save my uh, MP. I'll just use normal attacks on them. Oh, there was no SP. Uh, what a waste. Is that why there's a save point around here? Because there's gonna be a boss battle? I think so, let's save. Just to be safe. Oh, no, 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 yes, I do. I want to save. It's kind of annoying that the yes options are not on the same side. Like when you trigger the save warning and actually saving. Oh no! I didn't use my cobbler! You're in the way there. Come on, there's no need to be like that. A man can take a walk, can't he? What exactly is it you're always doing anyway? Wandering around the fort like that. Hero? Huh. You should try taking a leaf out of the captain's book. <laughs> you got me there, kid. Can't argue with that. The captain once said you were the most trustworthy man she knew. I trusted you too. I looked up to you. But now? Trustworthy, eh? Nah, that ain't me, I'm afraid. Um, Nidor? What is it? Is the captain awake? Please, let me ask you once more. Please join us on our journey. 
I already told you my answer. Sorry, but no can do. My journey is over. That's not true. If it is, then why didn't you return home after the pilgrimage? Why didn't I return home? There must have been a reason. A reason? Ever since you returned from the pilgrimage, you've been driving away all the monsters that go near the fort, haven't you? Why would you do that? He just likes hunting monsters! No, I don't want to be silly right now. Keep the truth hidden. If the pilgrimage was completed successfully, there shouldn't have been that many monsters. But it wasn't, and that's why you had to keep fighting them off. And that's because the pilgrimage of the sacrifice that you accompanied. Was a failure! Really, the pilgrimage was a failure. That's why you couldn't go back home. So you stayed here and continued fighting off the monsters. To stop the people worrying and make them think the effect of the sacrifice was still continuing. But this is no longer Purika's problem alone. At this rate, the whole of mainland will be filled with monsters. Don't you want to complete your journey, Nidor? Please, we need you. We need your strength. Come on, stop it. I ain't got no such strength to give. I can't protect you. Well, that's why I'm here, okay? I'm stronger than you. Hey, is what she just said true? How could you? You mean you've been tricking us all this time? How low can you get? Hero, give me a break. You're a coward. That's what you are. A coward and a liar. I... I just... Hey, what's going on? Reaper? Get behind me. No chance. I don't need to hide behind the likes of... Just be quiet and do as I say. You don't want to die, that is. I have found you, sacrifice. You mean this is... The freak who attacked the captain. Neener, get him some to somewhere safe. I didn't eat my stew. Leave this to us. What do you mean? You need to run too. No, we shall fight. Kill. Sacrifice. Who is this man? Be careful, both of you. Okay. Ooh. I'm pretty sure if I was at a lower level, that would have hurt a lot. Combo. Slow. Yep. Yeah, ATP boost us. Sakto me. Okay. Lightning. And then let's wait for him and let's. Ooh! Combo. X strike. What? Why didn't it. Uh, momentum. I'll wait for you. Combo. So. Oh, no, wait. Charge. Yeah, I did the right thing. Attack, Cyclone. This guy's tough. You know what? Let's, uh, Lightning with Satsuna. He has Light Resistance down. Uh. Defense of all allies near target. Nah, I think I'll just kill him. It's my turn, but I don't have SP. Yeah, a uh, cyclone. Yes, got him. 212 experience. Sweet. Is that it? <gasps> Eterna! One down. Ouch. Tougher than I imagined, but this is the end. Jelly! This is the end. Get your hands off them! Ah! The sacrifice must be destroyed. Think I'm gonna let you? What? Jelly! Smackdown! Ugh! It seems this body is not yet perfect. 
run away like a coward. He's gone. Thank you, Setsuna. You saved our lives. I'm so glad you're both safe. I was so desperate. I... You guys are incredible. That freak didn't stand a chance against you. Are you hurt? No. Thanks to you, Nieder. Why didn't you run? I couldn't just run away and leave them behind. Even if your guard are killed, you must save yourself and escape. That's one of the laws of the pilgrimage. But they promised me. They promised me they'd see my journey through to its end. So in turn, I must protect them, and to do that, I must fight. I must make sure that we all reach the last lands together. I see. Can't be an easy job guarding a sacrifice like this, eh? No, it's not true. She's pretty easy to handle. Anyway, we're going back. I don't know what the captain would do to me if any of her precious men were to get hurt. But neither. Come on, let's go. Can we just ditch him already? He's like a totally less cool Auron. I don't need him. Jelly. When that man attacked us, you didn't run away. Why would I? You got to your feet, ready to protect Setsuna to the very end. Don't worry about it. I'm a nice guy. Well, thanks. It puts my mind at ease a little to hear that. Come on, let's head back to Pudika for now. I don't need to save. I'll save when I'm on the map. I don't think there should be any hard enemies here. Yeah, because these guys are gone. I wish I used my stew, then I would get double experience and more drops. Gosh darn it. I was too anxious. I thought that the big fight would happen in the fort entrance. Well, now I know. Hey! Sidetrack to get some cabbage! Look at the waves along the coast. So nice that they had it a little effect like that. There's a special white area, I'm guessing that's where we can go on a boat or something. Save! Okay. I'm beat up, but I'm hoping I will get automatically healed. Hey, you got anything else to sell me? Sell, sell, sell. Okay, you got nothing. I'm guessing- Oh! You're awake! I hear about it from my men. Oh, I heard about it from my men. You got rid of that man with the scythe, eh? I'm impressed. Perhaps you'd be fine without a guard. Although that won't be happening, of course. Are you alright now? You're not hurt? Oh yes, I'm fine. Twenty fractured bones, maybe? Nothing serious. You should not be walking. Are you sure you're really what you called fine? Mm. I saw that look on your face. She's only gonna slow us down. You're damn right. <laughs> Don't worry. Honesty is a quality I admire. If you leave the village and head northwest, you'll come to the Frost Caves. Flanea's on the other side. I'll be waiting at the entrance, so head there once you're ready. Do I not get free healing? Let's just get her to unlock the entrance, and then head on by ourselves. We don't need anyone holding us up. I agree. If I rest on her bed, will I get healed? I can't even rest. Oh well, I guess I'll use a tent. I bought plenty. Um, is there another material up here? Water broccoli! Um, I want to try talking to the chef again. Wait, this is not the chef. This is a random house. Isn't that lady gonna give me a recipe? Gosh darn it. You wanna give me a recipe? You wanna let me heal? Nope. She still says the same things. Okay, I'm just gonna have to use a tent on the map. I mean, I'm not direly hurt, but... Just get it over with. 
inventory. Tents. Wait. It did not use it. Oh wait, it's because I didn't do that. And let me save just for good measure. Okay. Northwest, she said. I'm guessing it's that thing. Wait, is there anything else over here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Frost caves. Ooh, scary. I just put my palm against the wood and it opens. Alright. Looks like you're ready to go. Um, about that. Here you are, finally. He's joining us for reals. Or were you really planning on letting an injured woman join the sacrifice on her pilgrimage? I just came to see them off. I see. The thing is, though, there's no longer a place for you here in Prudica. I told everyone the truth, you see. The time had finally come. So you knew all along, after all. Hmm, it feels like a great weight's been lifted from my shoulders. Damn it, how'd I end up with such a meddlesome master? Ha, <laughs> it's me who has been cursed with a stubborn student. Unable to forgive yourself for failing to protect the sacrifice. You punished yourself by continuing to fight and fight and fight. The regret of having let the sacrifice die keeps you chained to the past. But you won't find the answer you seek by continuing to guard Prudica. If there is indeed an answer to be found, you will only find it in the Lost Lands. Last Lands. Whoops. You will only find it once you see the sacrifice's journey through to its end. Isn't that so? <sighs> I made it. You're... You're still my... You're still this village's hero. It doesn't matter if the pilgrimage was a failure or not. You've been protecting all of us, all this time. Just like now, when you protected me from that man with the scythe. You've been fighting alone, protecting us all. And to think I called you a coward. I'm sorry. I still think he's a coward. <laughs> it's not just this village, either. You wanted to protect your hometown, too. That's why you stayed here, and continued fighting off the monsters. Where is his hometown? It's not the fort, is it? However, I'm afraid holding off the monsters here will no longer suffice. The time has come. <sighs> Nothing gets by you, does it, Master? Besides, I know you're not going to let this young lady fight to save everyone's future by herself. Wow! Yo, I could do that too, man! This is the end of your time as this village's hero. Isn't that right, Meteor? Yeah, you're right. But I'll still be here in spirit. I want you to pick up where I left off, and keep on protecting the village. Really, Nidir? You'll come with us? If you want my help, I'll be happy to give it to you. As long as that's alright with you, Jelly. Do what you want. I'm not really gla that glad to have you. <laughs> this sure is a laid-back pilgrimage, ain't it? I think we're gonna fit right in. We'll take care of things here, don't you worry. And next time you return, you will have finally finished your journey. He joined my party. Um, no, I'm fine like this. Is there anything here? Nope. Bye. I'm not even gonna bother talking to you guys. Whee! A bird. Hi. He fled. Great. Oh, you did not. Gosh, Darda, he sapped. Oh wait, no, I could have regular attacked him, he's weak. Good, knock them away before they poison us. Yep! See that stupid stealth destruct? Yeah! Um, antidote. There we go. I still don't know what the symbols next to their names mean. Neither and I have the same symbol. Cyclone the big guy. 
Uma lupa. Sim, I could kill him in one hit. Maybe the seals just always self-destruct? There's nothing I could do to stop that. And I can't jump. How are we not sliding off the edge and falling to our doom? Provoke! I already have provoke! I bought it! Just attack. Ow! Oh! No! Gosh darn it. I wasn't paying attention and I didn't press square. Don't sap me. Good. Oh wait for Satsuna. There we go. That's self-destruct. Okay, I guess that wasn't it. Self-destruct away from my party members. I don't want to heal them. Just yet. Sakyo Isogo. Uh, left? Ah, oh, it's locked! I wonder what I'll get to be able to unlock it all. Okay, there's a lot, so, um... Let's go you. Yes! And now self destruct. Oh, it hit her! What? I didn't think she'd be that close. Setsuna's voice sounds like Hoko Kuoshima, but I'm probably wrong. More dudes, but they're not very close to each other, so... Let's just attack the penguin. He's not dead! Attack the penguin. Ouch! Why you gotta be like that, man? Fine, I'll cyclone you guys. And now blow up away from my face. Hooray! Yeah, I'm ridiculously overpowered and I'm glad for that because I could just breeze through this cave now. You aren't in very advantageous positions for comboing. Or using text. Let's see. Walumpa. I guess Jelly is. Cyclone them away. And then they die. At least they get experience on them self destructing. Some games, if enemies self destruct, you don't get experience for killing them. Because you didn't actually kill them, which is stupid. Oh, wait. Enemies there. Which means. Wait, which way do we go? <gasps> Multiple directions to go! I'll just wait for me. Ooh, she dodged. Nice. I'm gonna have to use an ether on Jelly. Uh, at least I could get rid of two of you. Oh, three. That one's gonna hit us both. Yep, you it. And self destruct. Such is life. Okay, go, 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 go. I want to explore. Yes, came the right way. Fog stones are used for running away from battles, but um, I don't feel like running from any of them. I want the items, I want the money, I want the experience. Save point, which means something is gonna happen. So let's kill these dudes first. Ooh, shiny spot. Hurry up and get your SP point. Not you, Eterna. Okay. Cyclone. You. Yes, I hit all four of them. Ouch. Iso. Oh, yes, I leveled up, which means I don't have to use an ether on him. Stove asparagus. Save my progress. Oh shoot, it's getting a little long, but I do want to clear the frost caves before I end this episode. I feel like with this game- Ah, oh, I should have used the stew! Wow! 
This thing's the reason why the captain didn't want to let you through with a guard of just two. I mean, I'm sure greater numbers would make it easier to let the sacrifice escape alone. But if we can't even make it past here, we ain't gonna get anywhere. Here it comes. Bye. I don't need you. Uh, we're gonna slow you. Oh no! I didn't have SP points, so it didn't boost our ATB. Um, raises the defense. Sure, why not? Since you're in the middle. Defense up! Um, both. No, we're just gonna cyclone you. And we're gonna lightning you. Ha 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 Now we're gonna wait. Toxic breath. Is everyone sapped? Let's try X striking. Add physical damage, yes. Tech light sneak. Yes. Add at least one critical hit. Hide and shell. Physical barrier. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna wait to heal up then. Um, how about you? I don't know if we're sapped though, but just in case. Okay, I guess we were sapped. It said heal status ailments. Um, Eterna. How? I'm gonna use slow on you again. ATP boost for us. <clears throat> oh wait, Cessna can lightning. It only said physical barrier. Dummy! Uh, Cyclone you. Are you dead? No? Quick charge. I uh, could cyclone. Ice too. Ow! Okay, you're just gonna have to either yourself. Setson is gonna have to lightning. Light kill! Oh, yes! Dead. Oh, I wasted an ether! I didn't know he was that close to death. Gosh darn it. Momentum effects. Sure. Yeah. So once we get through here, we'll be in Flanea? Yeah, that's right. Let's go. We need to make up for lost time. What lost time? Gotta search the ground for shinies! Explore every nook and cranny! And we out! Bye bye! Freedom! Light! Snow! Um, okay, so I'm guessing that big fortress is Slonea. Yes, Cinderella. Okay, well, I'm gonna save it here. Fought two bosses in one episode. Woo woo! Got a new party member that I don't really care about. Woo woo! Okay, well, next time I will go into the Citadel, see if we meet any new people, and see where we're headed off to next. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.